Hi viewer, may you be blessed for clicking on this particular video. I hope you'll be extremely blessed after listening or watching this video. Join me and let's listen to the word of God from Apostle Suleiman. After that, we take our reaction. The second platform for accessing power is power that is accessed through the understanding of scripture. There is a dimension of power that is accessed through the understanding of scripture. You can also put in bracket comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. The second level of spiritual power is accessed through understanding of scripture, understanding the mysteries of the kingdom. The principles of the kingdom have within them a measure and a dimension of God's power already pre-programmed. Please listen. You can access a dimension of spiritual power based on light, illumination that comes from scripture. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. It says, and now brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance. It takes power for you to walk in that inheritance. And that because you have embraced the word of God, it is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 18. Second Peter 3, 18. It says, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Grow in grace and in the knowledge. The original rendition there is not just grow in grace and in the knowledge. It is grow in grace through the knowledge. Grow in grace and your growth in grace comes through knowledge. The higher your level of light the higher the spiritual power that you command are we together now yes there are things you need to know about the kingdom the way the kingdom was built advancement and power is light dependent to the degree to which you access the scriptures that means if someone comes and is saying listen there is darkness in this and that area of my life i need help you must have the level of spiritual understanding to be able to guide them to access the power of God that comes through knowledge. Fight ignorance. Fight ignorance. Fight ignorance, believers. Obtain grace to study. And that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture, which is able to make you wise unto salvation. You must obtain grace to have high level spiritual illumination. This is the reason why coming to the house of God is very important because the house of God affords you very cheaply the privilege of being methodically mentored, guided in partnership with the Holy Spirit. When he, the spirit of truth is come, before the Holy Spirit came as the spirit of power in Acts chapter 2, Jesus told us that he will come and guide us. You're not going to walk in spiritual power in ignorance. It will be a risk for you to be a powerful but ignorant believer. Power comes with light, light. Power comes with illumination. And Jesus himself, the powerful, knew what he would do. Is God speaking to someone? Power. For instance, there are certain possibilities in the kingdom that if you just have wisdom that comes through the word, you will know what to do. Let me show you a scripture. I found this scripture and it really blessed me. Proverbs 3.35 while I was preparing this note, I just stumbled across this scripture and it ministered so deeply to me and I added it among the scriptures. It says, the wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. The wise, you will always see the glory of God around the life and the corridors of wisdom. The wisdom that comes through the word. It's impossible for your life to not capture and manifest the glory of God if you submit to the wisdom of the word. Financial glory, glory in terms of influence, whatever it is. The power of God revealed through your life by reason 
of accessing wisdom. For instance, if doors have been closed against you and you are trusting God for open doors, it's not just the issue of demons and casting out demons. Maybe you do not have the wisdom to understand the gift and the ministry of men. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, send somebody to my life to help me. And God says that dimension of power is released through understanding. The favor of God can come and wait at the corridor of your destiny for many years. But because you have not gone to understand the dynamics, honor, value, see, your destiny helper can come sent by God to beautify and glorify your life. But you use your mouth, you use carelessness, you use dishonor and lack of discernment to recycle seasons of pain. You can pray and fast, but because you do not understand the principles of scripture. What a powerful teaching. One thing I like about this man of God is that he teach you for you to understand the word of God. In fact, Proverbs 3.35 that he read, excite me so much that the wise shall inherit glory but shame shall be upon promotion of fool i hope after watching this video you will inherit some form of glory in your life stay blessed